Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of our article today is Peanut Allergy. So allergy means when your body has a bad reaction, right? So you can either uh, start coughing or you feel sick, right? Or certain areas start to get bigger. So peanut, as you can see in the picture, are a type of nut. Right? So here, a lot of children these days are becoming more and more allergic or having allergies to peanuts. So let's see what the article is about. It says, a recent study found that parents should give their children foods containing peanuts at an early age to prevent peanut allergies when they grow up. So let's take a look at that sentence. A recent study means a study that they've done not too long ago. So recent means not too long ago. Found that parents should give their children foods containing peanuts. So parents, moms and dads, mothers and fathers, they should give their children foods that have some kind of peanut in it at an early age when they're much younger. To prevent, prevent means to stop. Uh, so to keep from happening, they don't want children to have peanut allergies when they grow up. So if you don't want children who are six, seven, 10 years old to have peanut allergies, then they said parents should give their children foods with a little bit of peanut in it when they're much, much younger. So it says here, parents tend to keep children away from peanut products until they are three years old. So parents tend to, that means they usually, right? They usually don't give uh, peanut products. Products are food or things that have peanuts in it. So peanut butter, peanut uh, candy, peanut chocolate, anything with peanut in it. They keep that away from children until they're about three years old. But doctors say children can start eating such foods from the age of six months, right? So uh, different than what parents are thinking, the doctor said it's okay. When the baby is about six months old, they can start eating food that has a little bit of peanut in it. Babies, however, should never be given peanuts due to the risk of choking. So if you give babies peanut, it can get stuck in their throat and it can be very dangerous. They can choke. So a lot of people, uh, maybe you know, or maybe you are allergic to peanuts. And the doctors are saying that, you know what, before we used to think that it's not good to give children or young babies peanut foods, but now it's better to do it when they're younger so that they don't get allergies when they're older. So I think when I was younger, my mom gave me a lot of uh, different peanut things, so I'm not allergic to peanuts, but I've heard a lot of people ever since they were little, they never even tried peanuts. So when they tried it when they were older, their body started acting uh, bad, uh, had a bad reaction to peanuts. So they became allergic to it. So this is an article that's saying maybe we should change our thinking about when we give our children peanut products or peanut uh, food with peanut in it. So let's look at the picture, right? It's a child who looks at peanuts and they don't like it very much, probably because she has an allergy, right? So let's look at what the question says. Children tend to eat, tend means they usually, tend to eat peanut containing foods after they turn how many years old? So we said up to a certain age, a lot of children don't eat it until they turn what age? And we said until they turn three. So after they turn three, that's when usually children start eating foods with peanut. Eating peanut containing foods at an early age could prevent peanut something. Prevent means stop. So if you stop, um, if you eat peanut containing foods at an earlier age, it can stop peanut what? And that was one of the titles uh, of our of our article today. So peanut allergy. You can stop peanut allergy if you eat peanut foods, uh, foods containing peanuts at an earlier age. Let's look at C. It says doctors say babies as young as how many months can eat peanut containing foods. So we said at a very early age up to uh, six months, as young as six months. So before six months, they're probably still very too, uh, too young. But after six months, that's when they can start eating a little bit. So maybe a little bit of peanut butter uh, kind of jam or peanut butter, all right? Uh, kind of soft, something with peanut in it. They can eat it at six months. Let's look at the final part of our comprehension today. So it says circle the right word or choose the right word. A recent study found that parents should give their children foods containing peanuts at the earliest age, at a later age, or at an early age, so that, so they won't have peanut allergies when they grow up. So which one is it? The earliest age? I don't think that's right. At a later age, when they're much, much older, that's not what the article said. So the correct answer would be at an early age, so that when they get older, they will not have allergies. Let's take a look at B. 
Babies should always be given, never be given, or often be given peanuts due to the risk of choking. So we said at the end of our article, should babies eat peanuts, right? That, that could get stuck in their throats. We said that they should not. So they should never be given because they may uh, choke on it. It may get stuck in their throats. So you don't want to give tiny, tiny babies actual peanuts, maybe some peanut butter. Uh, let's look at the final question. Blank usually give peanut containing foods to children from age three, but blank say from six months is okay. So here we said uh, mom and dads usually give peanut right? So containing foods much later on. So what's another word for mom and dad? And who is the person that uh, is changing that idea? We said that parents and doctors. So moms and dads, mothers and fathers, the parents, they usually give children peanut containing foods from age three, much later. But the doctor said, it's okay if you do it starting from six months. So I hope you guys are able to enjoy peanut butter because we see peanut in so many uh, different parts of our food and our diet. And we know that peanuts contain a lot of healthy things for us, such as protein. So peanuts is something that we can enjoy, but you have to be careful in case you have an allergy. So if you have a younger brother or a younger sister, right? If they haven't had peanuts uh, and they're over the age of three, well, you may not want to wait too long because if they keep waiting, the chances of them having an allergy keep going up. So I hope you enjoyed today's article about peanuts and allergy. I don't know if you like peanuts or not. I love peanuts, it's delicious. So I hope that you uh, and your parents and your family can understand how we can prevent or stop peanut allergies from happening. So it starts at a very young age. So I hope you learned a lot and you enjoyed today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.